Hey everyone, let's go ahead and get started today with a little bit of practice. So yesterday we were talking a lot about like populations, about samples, about data, and we kind of went through the definitions of some of those pieces of vocab, but let's give ourselves say, an example problem, uh, something that we can actually try uh, to, to break down ourselves. Okay, so let's consider George. So George, George went to, to the fair. The fair he wants to know the average um, number of calories per treat. So at our carnival, we're going to have, you know, elephant ears, funnel cakes, all sorts of yummy fried goodness. Uh, and so let's, let's go ahead and break this down. So George, he wants to know what's the average number of calories per treat. Now let's suppose that this fair is really big and the number of treats and options that you could have are quite large, you know, of, let's say a thousand different options if you were to go to all the vendors. So George, he's just working by himself. He doesn't have enough time to go and actually talk to every single stall. So what he's gonna do is he's going to collect the sample and he's going to actually do some statistics. So let's break it down to figure out all of these different parts. Let's start off with the population. So in this example, the population would be all, um, all fair, tr all treats at this fair. Okay, we're looking for all of the treats. So the sample, this would be a representative subset, subset of the fair treats. Okay, so he would have to go out and find uh, you know, maybe he goes and talks to 10 of the vendors and he samples 100 different treats. Let's, let's say 100 treats. And he'd have to go out and try to get a representative sample. Now getting a representative sample is difficult. Uh, we could do it through random sampling or some other methods, but we just know for right now, let's just say that it is a representative sample. Okay, so after he goes and does that, we need to know okay, what is Let's go with orange. What is the variable? Okay, so the variable here would be the number of calories per treat. So we'll put in number of calories per treat. So that's the variable that he's interested in. Um, but specifically, he's really interested in this parameter. And the parameter here is the true average number of calories per treat at this fair. So this would be the total number of treats, or the, the total, sorry, this is the true average number of calories per treat at the fair. So this is talking about the population, but this would be really hard to do. George would have to go and, and sample every single treat at the fair. That would probably take too much time and too much money, and he would probably get way too fat if he ate that much. So what he can do is he can go take a sample, and from the sample, he can get a statistic. And so the statistic here would be the average number of calories per treat in sample. All right, that's great. So this statistic is referring 
specifically to the sample. That, that's how we would calculate this actual number, the average number of calories per treat in that sample. So let's do one more. So the last thing that we want to make sure that we know is what would the data be in this example? So the data would be all calorie cow per treat that George collected. So the data would just be the list of everything that George collected for this treat. So once again, George is going to the fair. He wants to know the average number of calories per treat at the entire fair. So the population would be all treats from the fair. The sample would be this representative subset of the fair treats. Maybe he went out and sampled 40 or something. The variable would be the number of calories per treat. The parameter that, we, that he's interested in is the true average number of calories per treat at the fair. The statistic that he would calculate would be the average number of calories per treat in his sample. So remember, there's only like 50 in there. And the data would be, for example, that list of 50 treats that he sampled and the number of calories for each of them. So hopefully this helps out. I think that there are some homework problems that are similar to this. Hopefully this helps out. Good luck.